What we have here is a real authentic bag of prison coffee. So let's talk about it. What's up everybody? Shout out to all the law abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So as you can see, I have a real bag of coffee from Georgia Commissary Suppliers, man. Got this from my mom. Um, she was recently in county and was sent up the road to prison to do her prison time. She is having to do a nine month program. I know that I haven't really shared that with you guys, but uh, you know, it is what it is. She's gonna be doing a little bit of time. Um, she's actually been to prison before a few times like myself. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Won't get into that story. Maybe it's a story for another day. But as you can see, man, got the real bag of coffee that she left at the county when she bought it. So we went and go pick up her whole bag. Um, why the hell she didn't leave this with somebody in the block? I do not know. That was the very first thing that I asked my grandma was like, why would she give us her commissary bag and not leave that with somebody? That's like against the jailhouse rules, man. When you leave and you transfer and you can't take it with you, man, you bless somebody, you give it to them. But either way, I don't know what her motives were. Maybe everybody in there was shitty and she didn't like them. Who knows? Regardless, I got this coffee, man. So I'm about to have a cup and I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. Because when I was in Georgia prison, this is not what they had. So I'm waiting on my water to boil. And I just realized that I didn't have my trademark on, but... um. People, wh where's my shades, man? I told you guys in the other video, man. Send me some Dollar Tree shades or something. I gotta have, like, obviously a freaking shoebox full of shades because I keep losing mine. Got me out here looking like a super trooper right now. Anyway, um, hopefully that water will be done soon, man, and we can go ahead and test this puppy out. So as you can see, we got the steam rising out of the cup. I don't know if you guys will actually be able to see that on camera, but right there. Yeah. Anyway, hot water, coffee, got to get me a spoon. So I'm going to do this just like I used to do in the feds. I would use the big spoon. You know, they got the smaller spoons and the big one. I always get them mixed up. I don't know which one is a teaspoon and which one is a tablespoon, but I always use the big one because if I just do a big heaping one rounded spoon scoop, it was always perfect for me. So let's get into this thing. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, they pretty much sell two kinds of instant coffee in prison. They've got Colombian, which is what this is. As you can see, 100% Colombian. Damn, that black fingernail. Thanks a lot, kid. Anyway, so you got the Colombian, and then you also have what they call uh, Arabian style. I think it's Arabian. Is it Arabian or Arabica? Whatever. It's uh, two different kinds, man. Like the Colombian, I know you can't really see in the bag, but... Here, I'll try to show you. No, that ain't gonna work. There you go. It's like big chunks. Here, let me get that zoomed in. Anyway, they're more of the big chunk style, and the other kind, which is usually Folgers and um, Maxwell House, they have. It's like small little granules. They're really finely ground and they're a darker color. This Colombian is usually a lighter color. So anyway, I don't know technically what the differences are, but I just know that I like the Colombian better. And uh, Keefe is the greatest. You guys saw that from one of my other videos. So here we go. Going in. Stir that up. Here. Boom. Let's see if I can get that back there. All right. All right. It's going to be the moment of truth. I hope it doesn't burn my tongue. I haven't had real prison coffee in forever. It's actually not that bad. Kind of bitter, but not that bad. 
but I still stand behind Keefe. So uh, I don't even know where you guys will be able to get any of this. Like it's straight from the Georgia Commissary. I don't think you can actually buy that. So what I am going to do is I'll link this bag of Keefe right here again in the description of this video. You guys jump over there and get you a bag off Amazon, man. It's like two or three dollars. Then you guys can have prison coffee with a real convict. Anyway, quick little video, man. Wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time. Oh, don't forget, 9 p.m. tonight, I will be going live for that drawing for my book. And it will be signed however you want it. You'll have to hit me up in my email. I'll try to put the email. I'll try to figure out a way to, uh, I guess, run the email across the screen going live. I don't even know if I can possibly do that. But my email is in the description of every single video. So whoever wins, whenever I call your name, hit me up as soon as you can in the email. Let me know where you want me to send it and what you want me to say whenever I sign the book for you. Now, I hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time. Thank <music> you.